In June 2001, after months of research and preparation, the Chisholm Trail Museum and Heritage Center in Duncan, Oklahoma, began production of the Chisholm Trail Experience, a strikingly beautiful high-definition widescreen presentation. For 10 days, a full production crew came together with professional actors and stuntmen, a gang of authentic ranch hands, several experts on the West, three dozen horses, and 350 longhorn cattle to recapture the reality of a uniquely American way of life. The film they created to be presented at the museum's new multi-sensory environmental theater will put the visitors smack dab on the famous trail, driving a herd to Abilene. We are the only museum that's focused entirely on the Chisholm Trail and the great cattle trails of the late 19th century. What we do is tell a story about the trail, from the trail drivers, uh, the cattle owners that started it all, the uh, participants along the trail, the cowboys, the, the Native Americans. And so from beginning to end, we tell the tale of the old Chisholm Trail. And we'll add uh, to the museum uh, leading edge technology, so we'll tell the story more dramatically really in a way that has never been told before. The Chisholm Trail experience was filmed in Oklahoma in the same challenging country and under the same difficult conditions that cattle drovers experienced. Great pains were taken to assure a high degree of authenticity in all aspects of the production. So the film crew learned some first-hand lessons about the realities of driving cattle. Trying to uh, take some uh, typical events of the trail that happened back in those days. Uh, based on journals, we have some very meticulous journals kept by the trail drivers during that period of time. And uh, film it uh, with the major adventures of the time. Uh, so we'll have uh, roundup scenes, which is of course at the beginning of the trail. Uh, we'll move into scenes uh, showing what the day-to-day -day life was like uh, on the trail for the trail drivers uh, and the cattle. Uh, the more dramatic scenes, of course, are the stampede caused by a thunderstorm at night. Uh, river crossings were the most dangerous. The more cowboys lost their lives during that process than any other. So we'll include a river crossing uh, together with a cowboy who's fallen off and who's rescued. The river was high. It was, oh, in places it was, it was well over the steer's head and probably over the horse's head. The cattle weren't used to crossing there. And it, we got some great shots, I heard. But, it, but we couldn't get them across there. So after those attempts failed, we decided we'd try one more time down here. So we, we drove the steers and took about two mile drive and drove them right here. And uh, I called Don and I said, be ready. And they called and said they're crossing the river. And that was a great feeling to know that. Although it was a tremendous challenge, I think it probably will be the highlight of the whole film. Life is not nearly as romantic as the literature and the music and the, uh, particularly the film portray it. I mean, it was hard, hard work. It was dusty, it was uh, hot, very hot. It was exhausting, hard, uh, difficult work under the best of circumstances. Even as hard as our work was for the eight or ten days we filmed this, we always knew that most nights we could go in and, you know, take a shower and maybe get some rest. Those poor guys never had a the day after day, after month after month, they never knew what to expect. But they knew that over the next deal was probably another challenge just like what we faced here. So it, it had to be terribly tough. Our cattle were authentic. Um, terrain was challenging to the cattle and the horses and the men. The river was deep. You know, uh, we didn't cut anybody any slack. The weather was always a factor. Um, and in the summertime, the time they hit this area, uh, it was a major concern for them. More than anything else, uh, cattle were stampeded by thunderstorms. Uh, when it occurred at night, it was particularly difficult. Take three cameras, a bunch of cranes, dollies, a passel of special lighting instruments, the rain trees you need to simulate that rainstorm, and a jumble of other gear. Combine it with the endless and often unforeseen challenges that location shooting presents, and you've got a director's worst nightmare. But out here, you can't help but surrender to the allure of the trail. It's easy to see why Hollywood has always loved the Old West. We're standing on uh, remains of the Old Chisholm Trail. Uh, if you look behind us, uh, the ruts behind us are the Old Chisholm Trail. Uh, we calculate that about four million cattle came up this trail from 1868 to 1884, 85. Rawhide was really my favorite show and I always identified with those people. It makes me wonder how they made those pictures back then. Those were made in the in the late 50s and 60s. It makes you respect the guys that made those, those movies. We were all excited about it. You really didn't know what to expect. It's, it was nothing that, 
that we couldn't do, but it was uh, there was more to it than what we thought. We do we do stuff like this all the time, but we don't have to repeat it. You know, we do something, and then the the cameraman would. Or the director or whoever would say we need to do that again we need another take well, that, that's fine but sometimes it's hard to talk those cattle into doing that over and over again but all in all i think everybody really had a good time we made a lot of close friends and we think it's really going to be special